100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain Man. Of course, now the time is 11:30. It's all about chat trap, letting you know what's happening in the media, all your hot topics, and of course, just had that Salento watch me. Oh gosh, I don't know if you heard what happened with him, but um, he actually was just charged with murdering his cousin in Georgia. I have no idea what's going on with these rappers in the game, man. It's like, it's just, it's, it's, it's just completely crazy. It seems as though it's one thing after the next is somebody get locked up. This and that's going on. Hopefully things change very soon, man. But let's get into some more news. Recently, Ms. How You Doing, Ms. Wendy Williams, she had been promoting for her Lifetime movie and documentary, Wendy Williams, What a Mess, which actually hit the screens um, this past weekend. In an interview, she revealed, though, that she and Wu-Tang Clan's Method Man had a one-night stand back in the day. Now, apparently, after this one-night stand, that's all it really was, and Method Man wasn't really on her run, but it seems as though she still was on his, and apparently, um, you know, of course, from the words of Method Man's now a wife, she's been stating that Wendy has been attacking them for years now, and she and it's just sad to see that she's still doing it, still just trying to make their life relevant, or still just trying to make Method Man is something that him and her had back in the day so relevant today. But she also stated that in an obvious attempt to increase ratings for her sad documentary, her struggling TV show, and her burnt out career, Wendy has once again targeted my husband. And Tamika, which is Matthew Man's wife, she continued by saying it's a pattern that she has repeated for years. And of course, you know, at this point, she decided to finally come out and talk because she said that she was just completely tired of it. But let's go on to what's happening with Mr. Kanye West. This year, it started off really rough for Kanye. Of course, you can see that him and Kim K had finally um, filed for divorce. And look like it's going to be long. I'm just saying, if you're filing for divorce with Kim Kardashian, I don't know if you probably might end up being broke. But Kanye West is also being sued by members of his popular Sunday service cast after he allegedly failed to pay them. Two class action lawsuits have been filed against Kanye alleging mistreatment of his performers and staff of his extravagant Sunday service. And attorneys Harris and Rubel are concentrating on the payment owed to approximately 300 crew members. And a hairstylist even disclosed that it took her 120 days for her to be paid $550. And Kanye West's company also deducted the wire transfer fee from the hairstylist earnings. Now, if this is true, that's just completely foul, Kanye. But one allegation by a performer says that he was paid a flat rate of $250 a day regardless of his hours and he was subjected to grueling conditions such as not being permitted a meal or bathroom breaks. And the performer stood all day or had to sit on the floors because they did not have enough seats. At least the seats was not even, enough seats were not even arranged for them. So it sounds as though they were pretty treated, um, pre treated pretty roughly. But honestly, they sounded pretty good too. They really did put on a good performance. So I'm just hoping that none of this is 100% true. Because even before, I think, what, since um, they were saying that Kanye West had an affair with a male that's why him and Kim Kardashian didn't work out. Now, this is in the media, and it's like, I'm just hoping it's not true, man, because I know sometimes the Kardashians can put a lot of things in the media, so I'm hoping that Kanye just try to clarify this thing up, all right, because it's not really looking good for him at the end of the day. But, of course, you know, finally, fans are being allowed to watch the NBA games again, which a lot of them are pretty excited to do so, but um, apparently a specific couple was not too happy with um, LeBron James, and they was not really a fan of him. So they started to trash talk him while he was playing, and of course, um, that ended up getting super heated, which, and I think the fellow, yeah, the male, his wife ended up getting into the argument, and they had to be ejected from the stadium. And they just, to me, it's just like, come on, man. I understand you might not like a player, an NBA player, but you ain't really got to go in on them. You ain't really got to start, you know, any confusion, and if, especially if you're just watching from the court side. And apparently they started cursing. So a lot of foul words was being used. And, yeah, at the end of the day, LeBron James said that he is still happy that the fans are back in the building 
And he also even said with a straight face that he missed the interaction and he needs that interaction. And he called the lady who was then um, just arguing with him for no apparent reason. He called her courtside Karen. And he said that she was mad, mad. So that's it for Chat Chat. I'm letting you know what's happening in the media right here, man. About to jump back into the mix. Got Beanie Man. What do you want to be that guy?